This is a brand new Specialized S-Works power saddle with mirror technology. It was first displayed a year ago, but it's only available to buy today at the time of watching this video. It's a radical new saddle. I mean, it looks unlike any other saddle I've ever seen before using a state-of-the-art 3D printed technology. So it looks funky. It costs 350 pounds, so it isn't cheap. There's a lot of tech here, but before I dive into that tech, what's it like to ride? Because that is what really matters that's a comfort to deliver on the road. So earlier this week, I went for a spin to find out. Okay, let's talk about comfort because comfort is what really matters with a saddle. The most important contact point between you and the bike. It doesn't matter how much it costs or what technology is going on in a saddle, if the comfort is not good, it's not gonna work for you. And I've got to say, comfort is superb. It really is very, very good indeed. And it definitely lives up to the price tag and the technology going into the saddle. Easily one of the most comfortable saddles I've ever used. And let me tell you, I've ridden a lot of saddles in my time testing bikes and I've suffered through a fair few bad saddles in my time as well. The softness really strikes you compared to a normal firm foam pallet saddle. Uh, under the thumb it's much squidgier and that middle bit with the lattice clearly exposed really quite squidgy and you've got a bit of flex in the carbon fiber base as well so the whole thing does feel a lot softer than a normal saddle but it doesn't feel too soft when you're riding it the first few miles you really feel a softness but after a while you just don't notice it at all and that softness gives you a lot of comfort um, it really supports you really well and what came to mind on my first ride is that feeling of a really expensive pocket sprung mattress that you buy for your bed that feeling of kind of floating on a bed of air, but being supported, so not marshmallowy, not squidgy, but soft in a supportive way, if that makes any sense. And that's how this saddle feels. And I thought it might be too soft, but I did what you shouldn't do with a new saddle, is I put it on the bike and went for a four hour ride, and it was amazing. No problems at all, no bedding period required. It was just comfortable from the first mile to the last mile, had no issues at all. No squirming around, no hot spots, no issues at all, it's just, superb straight away and that really blew me away another side benefit of this design is that the comfort in terms of how it cushions you from rough roads is really good it's almost like micro suspension and this giant tcr is already a very comfy bike itself but this saddle was adding an extra layer of comfort which i didn't really um think would be a factor with a saddle at all i thought it would just be about plain comfort but actually i'm getting more uh, comfort from dealing with rough roads, which here in the Cotswolds are pretty, um, pretty terrible in most places. So that is a definite side benefit of this design. It's the cushioning you get from rough roads, uh, isolating you from a lot of vibrations and impacts from hitting potholes and gravel and other things on the road. I can see there being a benefit on a gravel bike, definitely, or Paris-Roubaix uh, races or rides where you have a lot of uh, rough terrain to contend with. As well as all that clever 3D printed technology, you've got the same body geometry uh, technology we're used to from Specialized. So you've got this short stubby nose design that's very popular in the bike world at the moment. Specialized has been doing the power saddle for a few years and quite a few other saddle brands and bike brands are now are doing stubby nose saddles. They're much shorter than a conventional saddle. You've still got quite a wide base. This is a narrower of two whip options available. Got a slight kickback at the tail of the saddle. Got a cutaway down the middle as well. Um, the shorter nose definitely means you can get on a rivet as we like to say in cycling on the rivet of the saddle uh, really get in a powerful position and this design does suit a more aggressive riding position if you're hunched over the handlebars and you're really trying to get aero and get the power out it really supports you without putting pressure on your delicate bits at the front but that said i've used one on a long audax in the past and found it really comfy as well so it really does come down to your fit and preferences uh, definitely worth trying these short saddles Probably time to tell you more about the tech in the saddle. So let's go back to my uh, garage to fill you in on all the details on this funky looking saddle. Okay, it's clear I like this saddle then. And I must reiterate, these are first ride impressions. I've only had a saddle for about a week. So I've only done a handful of rides up to about four hours in duration. So much longer term testing will be needed to really get into this saddle and how it delivers long term comfort and durability and other factors. But first impressions are very good. So what's going on? How's it made? It's using a process called 3D printing, which you've probably heard of. It's used in other sectors, uh, automotive and aerospace. And the bike world has also dabbled in 3D printing for bike components and frames and other small parts, but never before a saddle. 
and there's some really interesting and potentially game-changing potential benefits to using a 3D printed technology for a saddle. So Specialized hasn't developed the saddle itself, it's actually partnered with a company in Silicon Valley called Carbon. They're a specialist in 3D printing, got their own machines and their own processors, and together they've worked to develop this new saddle. The saddle is made using a digital light synthesis method, which builds up a liquid polymer into the unique looking saddle. This process uses a UV light to project an image onto a special resin and it's built up layer by layer. It's then thermally cured to give the final product. What it allows is a totally different upper to be built. They use a lattice structure with 8,000 nodes and 14,000 struts and Specialized has been able to tune how the lattice structure works in different areas. So it's firmer where the sit bones are and it's softer in the middle channel just to better spread the load, especially in the sit bones, compared to what you can do with foam. I mean, foam is an amazing material. You can do many great things with foam. And there's loads of foams out there and some real uh, developments in the foam. But Specialized reckons this lattice structure gives bigger benefits than you can achieve with current foam technology. So really working on supporting the sit bones, providing more comfort for the sit bones and better support for the sit bones by using this lattice structure. And also looks unlike any other saddle I've ever seen in my life. So quite a unique looking saddle. This lattice structure, this upper, is then bonded to a carbon fiber base plate with carbon fiber rails on this model here. I'm sure there will be cheaper versions down the road with uh, not using carbon, not using carbon rails to get the price down. But this is a, a new product, so they've launched it right at the top using the best materials, the best carbon components to get the weight down as low as possible. Talking of weight, I put on the scales earlier to see what it weighs. So not a bad weight, but weight isn't the main focus of a saddle. It's clear comfort has been the primary objective to achieving more comfort than any current saddle, and that's what Specialized really focus on. And also adding all their body geometry technology, so the shape and the channel down the middle, and all their 20 years of understanding in saddle science to deliver a saddle that he reckons is a big leap forward in comfort. Another benefit of 3D printing technology is that Specialized was able to increase the amount of prototyping it could do with up to 70 prototypes tested to develop the final shape and also recondense the period from the first sketch, first design, to the final product available in the shops. Condense that period down massively compared to the conventional way of designing and getting a saddle manufactured. So it's a really exciting saddle, but what's really exciting about this technology is that 3D printing prints each saddle separately. So potentially, down the road, quite a long way down the road probably, you could go into a specialized dealer and have a scan down below, have a fit, and then have a 3D printed saddle done for you there and then. So a custom tuned, a custom designed saddle just for you, doesn't fit anybody else, just fits you to suit your sit bone requirements and your riding style. A custom designed tailored saddle could be the future of this technology. Just in the same way that you go to a frame builder and have a bespoke frame made with your own geometry and tube diameters to suit your requirements, you get a saddle made to suit your requirements. There's been a lot of talk and understandably a lot of hype surrounding 3D printing in the bike world for the last five years or so. And we've seen it used in frames to great effect, dropouts and bottom brackets, but I've never seen it used in a saddle. And I think this is the most exciting uh, development and embracing of 3D printing in a bicycle component. Because the saddle is of course the most important contact point between you and the bike and it really determines your comfort on a bike, whether doing a one hour ride or a 12 hour ride. But the big question is, is it worth 350 pounds? Well, clearly that depends on your point of view and you can easily get a saddle that offers very good comfort these days for much less money. 50 pounds or thereabouts will get you a very good saddle because saddle technology has really improved loads over the last few years and even cheap saddles now are really good with excellent comfort. And if you have no issues with your current setup, then you'll see no reason to upgrade. It's worth adding that you can spend a lot more money on a saddle if you want. 400 pounds, 500 pounds, no problem at all. But most of those saddles are ridiculous, one piece carbon fiber saddles, which offer no comfort at all. And are really just for weight weaning, trying to get the weight of a bike as low as possible. 
I know saddles don't really move the game on much. It's just for people uh, want to pose with a super lightweight bling carbon saddle. But what I think Specialized are really trying to do is move the game on in terms of saddle technology and apply some of the latest 3D printing technology to a saddle in a way we've not seen before. Let's face it, saddles haven't really changed all that much, have they? For a long time, leather saddles were the default choice. They're still a really good choice. Superb comfort from the hammock-like support you get, but heavy and quite old fashioned looking to be honest. And then in the 60s, 70s, we got the development of the saddles we now know, basically a plastic or carbon fiber base with a layer of foam and then wrapped in either kind of a leather or a micro synthetic upper. And that is what we've been using for the last several decades. And yes, it's been great improvements in terms of science and medical understanding of what is required to support the sit bones. Um, greater choice than ever before, different lengths and widths, channels, women's saddles, uh, better fit as well, so you can now easily fit yourself to a saddle and a much broader choice, so more chance of finding a saddle to fit you. But fundamentally, the technology hasn't really changed all that much. This mirror technology saddle really is a big leap forward. So you can see how saddles have changed. We've gone from leather saddles to foam cover saddles to 3D printed saddles. So really the big third generation, third development in the history of saddle probably the most exciting one yet. So to wrap up this first ride review, and there will be a more in-depth review later on, so make sure you subscribe to my channel for that. But for now, I just wanna leave you with my final thoughts on a saddle. So comfort is impressive. You've also got that micro suspension I mentioned earlier, and you've also got great ventilation. It's reasonably light, but not super light, so it won't appeal to weight weenies, but it's light enough. Uh, but it's comfort that really matters. And I think that is what is the main takeaway here. Now, it won't wipe out or replace current saddles, leather saddles, or foam saddles at all. There are some very good saddles on the market. But I think the potential in the technology is what is really, really exciting. And I can't wait to see more saddles and more tech like it's being embraced in the saddle and have a key contact points on the bike to really further the comfort available on the bike. Because bikes and comfort have got a lot better over the last few years. So more people can enjoy cycling than ever before. And there's some exciting benefits coming down the road from the technology. So I don't think this is a fad. I think this is here to stay. I think we're gonna see a lot more from 3D printed technology. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy watching this video. Make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already for loads more bike tech coming along soon. But keep safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you again soon.